spilled. Powerful storms and destructive wildfires. I'm surrounded by fire. Breaking records this year around the globe and here at home. And 2018 wrapping up with alarm sounding at full volume about the need to take real action on climate change before it's too late to reduce the risk of extreme disasters. We are in trouble. We are in deep trouble with climate change. From a winter deep freeze across much of Europe, linked to record snowfall in Croatia, to a summer heat wave sweeping much of that continent, feeding fast-moving wildfires in Portugal. In Kerala, flooding caused by torrential rain, the worst the Indian state has seen in about a century, killing hundreds and displacing some five million people. And a super typhoon slamming the Philippines and southern China, leaving dozens dead. These just a few examples of severe weather this year. Impacts also felt here in Canada. We have never seen the water come over the road like it is now. In May, a historic flood after heavy rain and snowmelt plunging parts of New Brunswick underwater for weeks. This is our, was our deck, our sunroom. From water to fire, in British Columbia, the 2018 wildfire season, now the worst in the province's recorded history. Amid warm, dry conditions, more than 2,000 fires charred, well over 13,000 square kilometers. And a busy fire season outside of B.C. too. For example, Ontario alone reporting 1,325 fires, hundreds more than last year and the 10-year average. Now to the U.S. Sparked in early November, the Camp Fire is now the deadliest and most destructive blaze in California's history. The fast-moving fire fueled by hot, dry conditions, wiping out the town of Paradise. And a couple of powerful, deadly hurricanes delivering a serious blow. Florence causing catastrophic flooding in parts of North and South Carolina. And Michael, now the strongest storm to ever slam the Florida panhandle, making landfall at just under a Category 5 status. As for those climate change alarm bells, a U.S. government report released in November says climate change will cost the American economy hundreds of billions of dollars by the end of the century, damaging everything from human health to agriculture. Donald Trump casting doubt on the findings. Yeah, I don't believe it. No, no, I don't believe it. At climate talks in Poland this month, the World Health Organization emphasizing the benefits of capping the rise in average surface temperatures at 2 degrees Celsius. By the year 2050, if we, are, if we keep ourselves on track for the 2 degrees C uh, goal, then we will be saving about um, a million lives a year uh, from reduced air pollution alone. The talk said to be the most important United Nations conference since the Paris 2015 climate change agreement adopted by more than 190 countries and a core Trump has pulled the U.S. out of. A message of hope, though, that the planet can right the ship coming from Canada's Minister of Environment speaking in Poland. We all understand we need to act on climate change, that it is uh, the biggest you know, risk that we have, not only to our people, but to our economy. And we know what the problem is. Too much pollution, we know what the solutions are. And if we're going to be ambitious, we need to have robust rules. And we can do this.